for this to be my first time making meatloaf, this was bust. Have you ever went in the kitchen and seen nothing and still made something and it became scrunchies? Welcome to Carmel's Wine and Cheese, you guys. So in today's video, what I'm going to be making is some meatloaf, okay? And this is my first time making meatloaf, so let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off with some ground chuck. I'm going to go ahead and put two large eggs in there, some breadcrumbs, some complete seasoning, some black pepper. Then I'm going to add some of this in there. I don't know what this is, but I like the colors on the box, so I'm going to add that in there too. Then I'm going to add some W sauce because who knows how to pronounce that? I don't. I'm going to add some yellow onion in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix it all up. Now, I ain't had no gloves, but I do believe that it makes it taste better when you mix it up without the gloves. But listen, I don't remember the last time I had meatloaf, y'all. And I never made meatloaf before, but let me tell you something. This meatloaf came out good. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the dish. Mix it. Not mix it. I'm sorry, y'all. Forgive me. <laughs> I'm going to pat it down in there until it's nice and packed. Then I'm going to throw that in the oven at 375. And I'm going to let that cook for probably about 30 minutes. But while that's cooking, let me go ahead and make some ketchup sauce. Now, my sister was like, just put regular ketchup on there. But you know me, I like to mix stuff up. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with some regular ketchup. I'm going to put some white distilled vinegar in there. And of course, some garlic paste because it ain't a recipe without the garlic, okay? I'm going to add some light brown sugar in there also. And I'm going to add some onion powder in there. And to give it a little kick, I'm going to add some red pepper flakes. Now, I was going for like a sweet, spicy, savory. And I mastered it because this sauce came out absolutely delicious. So now, I'm going to go ahead and take that meatloaf out of the oven about 10 minutes before it's done and i'm gonna go ahead and dress it with that ketchup sauce i'm gonna spread it all over the top until it's nice and covered and now once i got that nice and covered i'm gonna go ahead and pop it back in the oven for an additional 10 minutes to let that ketchup sauce melt and thin out a little bit and look that's how it looked this is how it looked before I put it back in the oven. I just wanted to show y'all. Now, this is how it looked once I took it back out the oven. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. So, I'm going to go ahead and plate this bad boy. So, on a pretty plate, I'm going to go ahead and drop my meatloaf slices on there. Look at them. They came out pretty, nice and firm. They ain't dry. They got a good amount of moisture to them. They nice and flavorful. I think it need a little bit more ketchup sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and dress it a little bit more. So it's nice and saucy. And then voila. That's the finished product you guys. Now I know I say this every video. But please. Somebody you got to make this. Because this was good. You hear me? 